Yeah, all right. Welcome to yet another fabulous Sunday night news and nonsense. And, uh, well, this week we don't have uh, all those fun people that we had on the show that we had, uh, but that's okay. I got Total West today here. And, uh, hey, Total West today, uh, I heard you got a bruise over the uh, week uh, fishing with dynamite again. Is that first true? of first of all, let me say that <laughs> it was fun, and I and I wasn't invited in the beginning, and that's fun. I'm leaving. Goodbye. <laughs> anyway, well, I, you're the one yeah. that said you weren't going to be there, and so I, I went know. through all this trouble to plan the show, just so we could make sure that we didn't miss a week of the news and nonsense just for our adoring fans. Well, I and actually, you still you made it and it was a blast. Yes, yes. Yeah. I, I had to cancel my fishing with dynamite thing just to be on the show, but then I realized, wait a minute, it's my old show. Duh. I should <laughs> So uh no no bruises, no fishing either, but that's okay. <laughs> gotta send you I gotta send you a check so you can uh invest in those depth charges. I I'd, I'm very interested in Oh no. please Captain Shiznitz is still <laughs> mad I blew up his boat last month. I'm Thinking, come on, get some boat insurance, will you? But no. Captain Shiznit, sorry. Right. And we're still waiting on the recipe for properly. Oh, never mind. Let me get off of that one. You don't. We're not gonna. No, 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 no. Let's <laughs> let's actually do some news because our listeners are actually, you know, come on already. Where's the news? But go ahead. All right. Well, Microsoft wants to hide which patents Android and Linux violate. There was always clouds of doubts around Microsoft's claim that Android and Linux infringes upon their patents. While Microsoft continued to threaten companies into signing deals with them or face legal actions, it never disclosed what patents were at stake. The victims were forced to sign a non-disclosure agreement so that the world never gets to know which patents Microsoft is talking about. The chances are... These are non-existent claims, and Microsoft doesn't want this bluff to be caught. Oh, now, man. Barnes & Noble, get this, Barnes uh-huh. & Noble caught this fear, uncertainty, and doubt and countersued Microsoft. Microsoft was sweating in its pants as the case headed towards the trial, and Microsoft started to withdraw their bogus patents from the case just before the battle uh, reached the trial. Microsoft's typical to, to its character, paid Barnes & Noble heavily, settled outside a court, and the world never got to see the focus yeah. Now, Microsoft is again at the verge of being exposed. The court battle between Apple and Samsung has created the possibility of disclosing the cross-patent agreement between Microsoft and Samsung, as reported by one of the most reputed sources on legal matters, a grow cloth. Microsoft is oh, suddenly wow. scared yeah. and has filed a motion asking the court to seal the cross license agreement. It would, uh, and uh, I would like to remind the judge, uh, as asked both parties, to make e- to make all filings in this dispute available to the public for free. Yes, that would so, be not. But yeah. you know what? Here's the thing. All these patents, and we've been talking about this oh. what, for, for months now, you know, uh-huh. it's kind of depressing. And, you know, sometimes I feel like we should rename this in, like, instead of the Center Report, the updated Perry Mason show. You remember Perry <laughs> Mason, the classic oh. Oh. lawyer, you know, right from the 50s. And what was the actor? Raymond Burr. Well, well he even yeah. had, yeah, he yeah. even had episodes in the 80s. And, you know, uh, those were yes. those were always really good, you know, just yeah. like Matlock. Just oh, like yeah, Matlock. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Madlock, the oh. yeah, the the guy from um, oh, it was Andy Griffith, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. All right, exactly. yeah, yeah. So, so maybe yeah, so so maybe we should re- re- resurrect those lawyers to solve the issue. Oh wait, they were fake lawyers. Never mind. But but uh, at any rate, everybody wants to see all of these Microsoft yes. patents come to light, and that sort of thing. And yes. so it is my hope that they that they are unable to get those sealed so the public can really see what Microsoft yes. is really yes. out there trying to do, yes. what Apple is really out there trying to do. Yes. Come on. You know, I mean if you know if this really is your creation and your innovation, you should be able to let the public know exactly yes. what it is that they're paying for. And I would first, have to agree. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um there was something about this on the morning radio news and 
you know, something like this, the real losers here, no matter who wins in court, if, if there is such a thing as a win, the real losers will be the consuming public. Exactly. So, in my opinion, don't spend the hundreds of, million, hundreds of millions of dollars to go to court. Settle out of court. We don't need to know the logistics. Just play nice, settle out of court, get it done, and continue for all parties, continue to wow us with your products. That's all that I care about. Well, personally, in this case, I don't want I don't want this to be settled out of court. I really want to really? see. I, I well, want dirty well. laundry. I want to really see what it is that Microsoft has been doing. You know, uh, they've they've had their filthy fingers in the cookie jar for way too long. Well, so. I hear you, but. Let's 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 go to the lighter side of Microsoft. I also have some Microsoft news. Okay, okay. I'm I'm getting so depressed. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm so depressed, Patrick. Uh, there's no way you're going to sugarcoat your news article now. Uh, huh? Well, this is actually kind of cool. Well, Microsoft is actually getting rid of Hotmail. They are transitioning to yay. Transitioning to hot. Uh, I'm sorry, Outlook.com. But I kind of like hot. Mail. I mean, it was better than lukewarm.com or, you know, but, uh, no, but, uh, it's going to be. I say Gmail for the win. Uh, Gmail is fine. They are transitioning to, e to either hot or outlook.com or you continue to use live.com.com. I would have pre preferred zombie.com, but I guess that was already taken. But, uh, live.com, Outlook.com. There have been some preliminary uh, blogs about this reports, and actually, it looks pretty good from what I've been reading. So, thumbs up for Outlook.com. Although, I didn't have any problems using Hotmail personally. So, oh right. Uh, let's see. Google. Ah. Uh, uh, we were talking in pre-chat about uh, the Google tablet and a future show we will do. We will be doing on tablets, but it says here that Google is introducing new content restrictions for apps in the Google Play Store in the hopes that it can crack down on malicious apps that pollute the Android you know, ecosystem. It says mm -hmm. here for the longest time, Google Play, like the Android market before, it has had unregulated, <laughs> I, I love this, and unregulated <laughs> wilderness. Um, the new policy is designed to ban apps that intentionally deceive deceive users blah 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 you know what this I think is good you know it they they do need some quality control uh, to make sure that what you oh, are downloading or buying is actually up to standard so yay for Google Play yay yeah um, but the thing is you know and we discussed this before that the new Android for the uh, jelly bean uh, also has measures in place to ensure that the software that you buy is uh, is um, indigenous to your device, yes. so you're not able to transfer yes. the back and forth. Because, I mean, yes. there are whereas websites all yeah. over the Internet where you can yeah. download yeah. these pirated Android applications yes. and yes. that sort of thing. And let the end user beware. If you're downloading this, downloading this pirated software, you're entitled to all the viruses and all the malware that is contained within them. So, uh, you know, and piracy is, is bad. Yes. Piracy is bad, you know? Yep. And, yes, I do agree that the ecosystem... Uh, is is a is a mess right now, but I think they're heading in the right direction with this. And speaking about Android, did you know that Android 4.0 is ported to the Raspberry Pi? No, I did not know. Yeah, that. Raspberry Pi uh, knows how to create a buzz. The extremely successful open source project has now salivated its users by porting 4.0 ice cream. Okay, it's 4.0 ice cream sandwich to this $25 device. Hmm. Raspberry. Pi developer Naren is working on this port and has succeeded in smoothly running hardware accelerated graphics and video on this device. The only missing part is audio support at this time. But that's something good. A lot of people are looking at the Raspberry Pis. Hey, for $25, $35, mm. bucks, you get a credit card size PC yeah. that you can, you know, pretty much uh, run just about. It well, sounds, you can run a yeah. Bluetooth and you can run. Yeah. Uh, you can run uh, any lightweight Linux distribution on it. I think it's a great idea, and uh, I can't wait to see uh, well, where this goes. It this is week. the Raspberry Pi is certainly a unique, yeah. unique product to say the least. So, mm -hmm. I have, Spatra, I have some medical technology. I just, you know, you know, you know me. I come across the odds and ends, <laughs> but uh, oh, shut up! But, uh, uh, but but before we go on to that. 
Yes. I, I know. I, I know yes. that uh, that that tonight you are also uh, having a show on tablets and that sort of thing and and other devices. So I wanted to mention that Samsung Samsung is working on a bigger tablet with Retina display. Cool. Uh, many Samsung fans have always wondered that despite being the world's number one display manufacturer and lead supplier of Apple's Retina display, yes, hmm, that's weird. Apple is in all this fiddle DD with Samsung, um. uh, and and they're the one providing Apple's Apple's um, uh, display on them. Oh my goodness! I... Well, look, well, Getting look, caught and tangled in the webs we weave here. We could go on and on with this, but uh -huh. yes, tablets seem to be the hottest thing. Uh, I mean, as far as the exactly. tablets tablets go, yes, we will be co-hosting a future. A show strictly on tablets. I did put up a short video and an invitation. Anyone who has purchased a new uh, Google, jeez, uh, I almost said Google Sexist. It's a Google Nexus, not Sexist, Patrick. Yes. The Google <laughs> Nexus Seven. Oh boy. Well, we know where your mind has been. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it's in the gutter, but no. Um, well, anybody well, who has so. purchased that tablet uh, or any kind of tablet that you have, you are. You are invited or may be invited to talk to us on a future podcast about tablets. And I'll let you know about this in the future. But, yes, what, what now, else you had in mind? Yeah. Uh, according to the uh, court documents filed in the historic Apple versus Samsung court case, Samsung is planning a 11.8-inch Android tablet with a whopping Whoa. 2560 by 1600 uh, WQXGA resolution. That is dinosaur size. We are talking, this is as big as it gets. Yes. And I think this is one reason why Apple is like going, oh my God, they're going to kill us. They're yes. going to have a cheaper product, yes. a bigger screen, and it's going to do more than our product can do. Let's kill them. Hmm, that is definitely huge. So we'll see how it works out. But really, do people yeah. want to go that large? I mean, now you're talking, I mean, how big is too big? Well, the, well, think of it this way. Anybody that would buy a tablet that has a resolution that, of this size, I mean, uh, uh, and we're talking almost a 12-inch screen here, obviously that's going to be their main computers, <laughs> I think, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, I Which guess anything. That, I guess yeah. anything goes in today's technological market. I mean, like especially, just, especially but, nowadays. You know, many of your business professionals and that sort of thing. Why, you know, why, why carry around a, a big clunky laptop when you can carry around true. a nice, a nice, uh, you know, um, you know, when you can carry around a, a nice no, lightweight I, tablet. I, I mean, I, it's I, like I having, have... it's like having Alpo when everybody else is having filet mignon. <laughs> Uh, I, I've given up Alpo for Lent. Oh, wait a minute. This is not. No, I'm only kidding. Uh, let's uh, let's talk. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's making me choke too. The Alpo, but yeah. No. Um, medical technology. Let's talk a little oh. bit about medical technology. She blinded me with science. Virtual bacteria. Check this out. <laughs> Virtual bacteria. Virtu Where do you get this? Stuff? This is the real. Well, you know me. I come up with the odds and ends just to keep battery. It is my job to keep people awake from from from, from you know from you talking. So here we go. Okay, you ready? Right. Scientists. Scientists have created a, have created virtual bacteria which mimics the way the organism works. Now, this is a breakthrough which could improve the understanding of disease and help find new treatments, which the more I think about it, it makes sense. Now, here's the thing, Spatry. What would have helped you out when you were running Arch if it was virtual bugs, not real bugs? <laughs> <laughs> that way you could have drank, you know, virtual coffee. You want to have to have all these, you know, caffeine attacks, but, you know. Uh, but, well, yeah. you know, I've been laying off the coffee. I've, the coffee. I've got my Dr. Pepper here. Which probably doesn't have as much caffeine and that sort of thing. Uh, probably, you know, yeah. yeah. I've actually been laying off that stuff. Okay. And uh, I'm still full of life and energy. I think I am anyway. Yes, you know. certainly are. Yeah. Um, let me see. I do have one last thing, a bit of oddball news. Now, this, this I caught yesterday morning. Here on... it comes, ladies and gentlemen. Go well, ahead. Well, as you know, I set my alarm <laughs> clock to listen in on the national you know, radio news. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now... Apparently, India suffered a massive power loss. I'm not talking about the girl. This this is the country, um, uh -huh. <laughs> but it won't but it be. But no. Um, <laughs> 
apparently over 600 million people there had no power. Now, in today's technology, over 600, I think, I think it was 680 million. Mm -hmm. They're going to form a committee to find out what happened. Now, here's, here's the thing, Spatry. If your power grid collapses to the point where over half your country is in darkness, it seems <laughs> to me that you don't need a committee to tell you that your power grid is basically, it's basically your power. Yep. Grid, it is basically garbage or horse yep. stable. I'll just use horse stable. Yeah. 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 You. I mean, six hundred million. Uh, Shiznitz, there, buddy. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. I think I know what the problem was. One of their camels chewed on a power line and just knocked everything out of wax. <laughs> that probably isn't far from the truth. Yeah, really. But that, that just... or a sandstorm or something like that, or desert storm. Yeah. 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 But that. That's just say. Hey, um, yeah. why, why can't why can't you shop at Walmart when uh, you're over there in the Middle East? Why can't you? Too many targets. <laughs> oh boy, that's that's. Ah, <laughs> uh, Spatry, Spatry, what are we gonna do with you? Yes, uh, I'm I'm sorry. Too many Tarjays. Tar <laughs> there you go. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, folks, on that high note, I think we are done with this. Uh, Sinner report. And once again, I'm the victim of Spatry's cruel jokes. As you know. <laughs> that ain't true. I'm not, I'm not all that bad. Am no, I? No. Uh, Get off of my Skype! Goodbye. Zzz.